Tennessee one win away from a date with Ohio State in the BCS National Championship game. A loss puts USC in the Rose Bowl, opens a door for either Michigan or Florida. UCLA bound for the Emerald Bowl against Florida State regardless of this outcome. So the Bruins are just playing to spoil the title hopes of their rival. My rival, show me my rival and show me Patrick Cowan, the Canadian kid from British Columbia. He is hockey tough. Got hit like a crash test dummy all game long, but as we mentioned, he's Canadian. He keeps getting up, running all over the field in the beautiful sunshine of Southern California in the first quarter. Check him out. He would finish the deal. He rushed for 55 yards on this drive, and the Bruins strike first, 7-0. Second quarter, USC down 7-2. Got a safety on an end zone holding penalty. Check out C.J. Gable. Check out the Edwin Moses move. Whoop, right there, the high hurdle as he took the pass from John David Booty. First down, USC, same drive. He will finish it off, shoulder square and lead. USC takes the lead. Many thought this game would be close in the first half, and then the Trojans would pull away in the second half. Let's see what happens. Third quarter, big third nine. Once again, Colin, the great escapability, the complete pass to Marcus Everett, who had five catches on the day. A Justin Medlock field goal makes it 10-9 Bruins. Booty! Hits the grass. USC forced to punt. They punted seven times. Fourth quarter, fourth and two. Oh, definition of play getting blown up. It's this one. No chance. UCLA is pumped. Later in the fourth, 13 to nine. Gray Mawaluga. Helmet to helmet. Helmet to earth. Look and listen again. You hear the helmets collide, and you heard Cowan's head strike the earth. That pumped up USC. But the Bruins say, hey, we're pumped up too. We're not going to let you take this away from us. 4.19 to go, fourth and one. Trojans down by four. They go for it and make it on the booty sneak. Jim Trestle thinking, got to start game plan for USC. They're going to go down. They're going to score, and we're going to play USC in the title game. Booty to Steve Smith. Booty was good. 23-39, 2-7-9. No picks to this point until this point. Eric McNeil tips it to himself and makes the interception on third and four. Watch it again. The deflection and the catch, the cradle, and the Trojans are stunned. They will not play Ohio State in the BCS title game as UCLA pulls off the upset. 13 to nine, they are jubilant. Pete Carroll and the Trojans, stunned. I don't even have any feelings right now. I'm real disappointed that we didn't, didn't get our points on the board all day long, you know. They did a fine job. You know, hats off to Carl. They did a great job to get this win today. Uh, you know, it could happen, and it did, and they did a fine job to get that done. So, uh, you know, there's a million things we could talk about right now. We just didn't get our win today. When you saw that deflection and interception, what went through your mind? We got a chance to win it, and that's all we wanted to do is stay close, stay in the game, play great defense, be smart with the ball on offense, get some points on the board and get a chance to win, and that's what we did. People said they counted us out. They put SC in the national championship before they played us. We just wanted to come out here and show everybody that we had a good team and we beat them. They overlooked us. They thought they were on their way to the national championship. Lee Corso, Kirk Street. we had another thing coming. Thank you, and that's all I got to say. You're welcome. What does this mean for USC? Well, again, the obvious, they're not going to Glendale, Arizona for the BCS championship game. Trojans' seven-game win streak over uh, over UCLA, as is their 63-game streak of scoring at least 20 points. And while most teams would be happy with a 10-2 regular season, it's the worst for USC since 2002. Hey, college football final. How did Pete Carroll and USC lose this game that meant so much?